Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to divide a decimal by a whole number. So we have two examples here that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one, where we have four and 85 hundredths divided by five. And the first thing we need to do is set this problem up. So four and 85 hundredths here, this is our dividend. It's the number that's being divided or split up. That goes underneath the division bar. And we are dividing by five. So five is our divisor. It goes on the outside. Now, once we have our problem set up, whenever you see decimals within a division problem, you need to ask yourself a question, and it's at the top of your screen. Is the divisor a whole number? And if so, if your divisor's whole, you can bring your decimal straight up. That's where it's going to go in the answer. And in the case of this video, our divisors are going to be whole. So we can bring that decimal straight up. Once you do that, you just go through the division steps like any other long division problem. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So we can start with four divided by five. And we can't divide four by five and get a whole number. We can't pull any whole groups of five out of four. So we need to jump over to 48. We need to include the eight here. So we can put a zero here if we want, because we can't do that. So 48 divided by five. How many whole groups of five out of 48? Well, we know five times nine is 45, and that's as close as we can get. So nine whole groups of five out of 48. Now we multiply nine times five, 45. Subtract, we get three bring down and we have 35 divided by 5. So how many whole groups of 5 out of 35? Well 7 and we hit 35 exactly. So 7 times 5, 35, subtract and we get 0. So our answer is 97 hundredths. Now number two is going to be a little bit different than number one, so please stick around for number two and you'll see why towards the end of the problem. But the setup is the same. So 95 and 1 tenth is our dividend. It goes underneath our division bar. It's the number being split up or divided. Six is our divisor. So it goes on the outside here. Now, we always ask ourselves this question, although we know the answer to it in this video, you will get to a point where you have mixed up problems. So 95 and 1 tenth divided by six, is the divisor a whole number? Yes, so we can bring our decimal straight up. It's going to be straight up within our answer there. Now we, we uh, start our division process. So nine divided by six, how many whole groups of six out of nine? Well, one. One times six is six. Subtract, we get three, bring down our five. Now we have 35 divided by six. So how many whole groups of six? Well, five, that gets us to 30. So five times six is 30. Subtract, we get five, and bring down this one. So now we have 51 divided by six. How many whole groups of six out of 51? Well, eight, that gets us to 48. So eight times six is 48. Subtract, and we get three. Now we went all the way over, and we don't have anything else to bring down. So this is something we cannot do. We do not put 15 and 8 tenths remainder three. Because when we're working with decimals, any decimal within your answer is the remainder. So we are putting our remainder in decimal form. So we can't put a whole number there, a remainder three. So we need something to bring down without changing the value of our dividend there, 95 and 1 tenth. So what we can do, we can add a zero here, place a zero on the end of 95 and 1 tenth, because placing zeros at the end of a decimal does not change the value. That's an equivalent decimal. We did not change the problem at all. So now we have something to bring down. So if you ever get stuck there, place a zero on the end and bring that down. Now we have 30 divided by six. Well, 
we can pull five whole sixes out of 30. So five here, five times six is 30. I'm running out of room here and 30 minus 30 gives us that zero. So we ended with a clean cut zero there and our answer is 15 and 85 hundredths. Now, some problems require you to place multiple zeros on the end, and some decimal division problems never end. So there's a whole bunch of situations out there, but as long as you know that you can place a zero on the end, bring that down in order to continue the problem until you get a clean cut zero there. So 15 and 85 hundredths, again, is the answer to number two there, and that is how you divide a decimal by a whole number. Key points here, check to see if your divisor is a whole number. If so, bring that decimal straight up and go through your division process. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.